Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today it's time to find out if the SA-58 is finally worth using in patch 14. There's quite a few ways to get this weapon, firstly at level 15 from the flea market, but these are normally the long barreled versions with low durability and no rail for optics at the back of the gun. You can technically use these and mount an optic to one of the hand guards, but the piece that makes it work properly is the extreme duty dust cover that you get after mechanic 3. However, sometimes you can get lucky and snag one with it from the flea market because it's the standard short barrel build that comes on raiders sometimes. Outside of this, there's quite a few options on the traders. Peacekeeper 2 is the earliest, but you have to complete overpopulation on lighthouse, killing scavs in the upper chalet. This costs 2 sticks of RAM and 3 hard drives, which is about 70k for a brand new standard FAL, which is alright, but you'll likely have to mod it a lot to make it usable. At Peacekeeper 3, we have another standard SA-58, but this simply costs too much in my opinion. Mechanic 3 sells the x -Fal and the SPR versions for 8 weapons parts and 12 respectively. I think that the x -Fal is much better value as this is already quite expensive depending on the cost of weapons parts at the time, but it comes with a 50 rounder as well as a decent foregrip, the railed dust cover, the best pistol grip and a good stock. Up at level 4 traders there are two more default SA-58s but this time in the short configuration, one for mechanic for 114k and one for peacekeeper 4 which ends up being a little bit more. This can be a decent base and provides a black MOE stock with butt pad which to be honest is more valuable taking off and using on another gun as the foul specific stocks are really good. You also only get the middle pistol grip here but as a standalone part you need skier 4 if you want to buy the best one. Another issue is the handguard, which can be upgraded to the CASV, but you need Mechanic 4 for both the handguard itself and the rails that go onto it. If you don't have level 4 traders up to Mechanic, the x Barter is better because it comes with all of these things by default. It costs about 60k to get the regular short version up to the same standard, and that's without the 50 rounder. If you can buy weapons parts for under 20k, the Barter is likely better. The final one is the PBR barter on Mechanic 4, which is actually pretty good. I did the barter here more cheaply, but let's assume it's 97k between the two Nixor lenses and the Rat Poison. If we want to convert this to the short version, which I'll explain why I think that is good in a moment, this costs 47k for the short barrel, handguard and rail, and recycling the foregrip which comes to 144k total. But because barrels normally sell back pretty well, you get 65k for selling the pieces back to Mechanic, which takes the overall total to 79k, which is super cheap. You might decide to keep the Hybrid 46 suppressor instead, but this broadly gets us to the same place as the other builds and is one of the cheapest ways to do it. From here, what I like to do is if I'm going loud, is add the BMD 3-part combo, which costs about 40k, but is interestingly the most recoil reducing part for 7.62x51 at the moment. And then you can add the 50 rounder for only 10k-ish using the phone barter from Mechanic 4, which brings the whole build to 130k. Yes, you do need level 4 traders to make this one fully work, but if you don't, as I said, you can start with the x barter instead. So what's good about the shorty builds? Well, the lowest possible recall right now for the SA-58 is 60, but this is obviously coming with terrible ergonomics. Optimizing a bit can get you to 48 ergo and 66 recall using the 30 rounders, or 50 ergo and 71 recall using the other handguard plus some cantilever mounts. However, the mid-length build is also 71 recall, but with 62 ergo instead. On this, the best in slot suppressor, the PRS QDC, comes to 44 ergo and 72 recoil, which is okay with the 30s, but only 32 ergo with the 50 rounder, which is starting to get quite low. The Thunder Beast is another good choice, as although it's 3 recoil worse, you get the same ergonomics and the weight is quite a bit lower. The big advantage of using a suppressor rather than the BMD is the decrease in muzzle gas and flash, which makes it much easier to see your target when shooting depending on the lighting conditions. But the main issue with all of this stuff about the SA-58 is actually the black MDR. Unless you're being careful with the x build and just slapping on a Magpul PRS stock from Peacekeeper 3, to do anything really customised requires level 4 traders, at which point you probably have the 762 MDR unlocked. This only needs wet job 4 to get it from Peacekeeper, costing around 185,000 rubles equivalent, but the thing about this one is that you hardly need to mod it at all. Foregrip, muzzle and optic and you're basically good to go, and against the long and medium foul builds it's got either better recoil with similar ADS speed, or the same recoil with way better ADS speed. A significant buff this wipe has been the introduction of the Sig Spear 25 rounders on Peacekeeper 4, and these are compatible with the MDR as well as the SR25 and the RSAS 2. This makes the MDR much more comparable with the SA58 combined with 30 rounders. For this reason, we can come back to the short SA-58 builds with the FAL's unique selling point, the 50 round drum mag. 
This combined with its high RPM is a force to be reckoned with, but you really have to go for the short version to make it sensible. Compared to the medium barrel, we give up another 5 recoil points but gain 10 more ergonomics, and the weight of the gun comes down too, which starts to allow the use of a suppressor as well without making the build feel too damaged. In the best loud configuration, this has 60 ergo with 76 recoil with a 50 round drum, which is excellent. With the PRS QDC, this is 42 ergo and 78 recoil, or 42 ergo and 81 recoil with the Thunder Beast, so you can still go suppressed and feel like it won't take an eternity to aim your gun, and with the new recoil it's nowhere near as bad sacrificing some recoil points due to the controllability of weapons in general. So yeah, that's the general verdict. You can have fun with the x Barta until you get to the MDR, and after that the SA-58 is kind of relegated to a niche CQB role. That's not to say that the SA-58 is bad, it's considerably better than it used to be, and you can use it if you want to, it just isn't meta per se. In terms of ammo, you'll want to complete Lighthouse Revision to get access to M80 on Peacekeeper 3, otherwise you can buy M62 on Peacekeeper 4 and BCP FMJ from Jaeger 3 to stack underneath so you don't run out. Finally, let's go and check out a couple of raids to see how it went, although I have to say, I did struggle a bit with the gun overall. Oh, I didn't bring- oh, I didn't bring the yellow flare, No. No. <laughs> Excuse me? There's six two in there. Hello. I don't think he has a gazon. One of these boys on. Bass at four. Oh. I feel an opportunity coming on here. Oh, let me in. Oh, you really? You literally can't even get get to that. Fantastic. You just killed me. Were you the guy who just like spawned in the middle of the courtyard? What are you shouting about? Like right in front of me? Yes. Dude, you literally spawned in front of me. It was crazy. You can get it? Really? How? You can? You go into Beluga? Oh, is it Beluga? That kind of bit. Well, we'll, we'll try it. We'll go over and have a look. Okay, so we're going to go underground, round, back up again. Go and see if we can grab it. Okay, so if we go upstairs into Belugie. How do I get over there from here? Can I go out of there? Oh, I see. I can come out of uh, this window, jump across, whatever. Okay. I have a thirty seventy. Here we go. Right. Now the real question is, can I? lie down on this without getting shot by somebody else in Pinewood. It's hard to get it to like do the search thing. There we go. There we go. Common. Let's see what this does then. Shonka. Oh. Kind of crap, right? May as well just take take it all. all right, I have the space. We're gonna I'm gonna use a um probably gonna use a mule anyway. <coughs> The mule just like ends up paying for the tank battery. Wait, did I not bring one in? Oh, I didn't bring one. How did I do that? I managed to replace my mule with my morphine somehow. Okay, well, we're not taking it then. I didn't realise. I thought it was full. <coughs> I thought my injector case was full. 
Turns out I was, I was wrong. Ooh, max energy. Need it for a quest of scav again. Go for it. I, I realistically can't take it. Without a mule or an obdi 2, I, I literally just can't take it. So. Oh. Okay, well, one extra sniper scav, good. Huh? Visibility was so much better. I know, I love, I love the visibility. Look, like, look at this. This, this weirdness didn't happen in the snow. Why is it so foggy? Like, that's literally across the street. Like, it's just always so foggy. But the fact that we got to play without that for a bit was just, it was so good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run along, I think, and then across like here. I mean, I might, I might just get killed, but. I gotta get across somehow. I've done all the kills. I just annoyingly feel. I oh, did I not? Be oh no! I didn't bring the green flare either. <gasps> okay. Well, now I need to actually think about where I need to go. Well, there comes someone. Who sneak up on this dude? Who just tried to sneak up on him? I don't think it's a scav. It's a player, I think. I think he's on the floor above me. Like, not... Oh, he's right there. There's his laser. <laughs> Pretty nasty. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing dandies. Really nasty. Oh, look, we got the green flare. <laughs> Worth. Actually, you know, I don't really use tax sports, so I'll just we'll just swap them out. It's just the noise of them moving around. Yeah, this. Yeah, I think it's just client side. Because if I'm crouch walking, like that guy had no idea I was coming. He had literally no idea. Tips on surviving solo streets. Get bring the green flare every time. <laughs> Number one. You point it up at like this angle, you don't go ver fully vertical, you go mostly vertical. Like you go to about there and then fire it. Because you, you want it to get to maximum height and your guy holds it at a bit of a weird angle. So yeah, climb off street is just like by far the easiest way to get out of streets, in my opinion. Most of the time. Um, what's the other way? Just like, you have to find like the pathing routes through the map that allow you to not just get shot. Hmm. Look a bit of durability damage, I will say. Oh, enhanced! What did we get this time? Reduces malfunction chance 5%. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm not an expert on US taxes. Uh, where am I? Oh, yes, this is the supermarket apartment. Yeah, okay, because the supermarket's in here. And there's a load of filing cabinets behind me that I'm not going to loot. Off DM right next to the bed. Oh, there. No wonder I don't find any. Because I'm just, like, not paying attention. <laughs> It's good to play with chat because somebody picks it up. I will take it as my dad, as my, as the, it's the flip side of me not actually looking at my screen. So it's funny because I've got like, all of you guys are looking at the screen and I'm not looking at the screen half the time. I told you these apartments were bog. To be fair, I actually was looking at the monitor this time. I have no excuse for that one. Now, hopefully we don't end up with people in this bit again. We're not near the start, so it should be a bit better, I'm hoping. Oh, I, yeah, I think Tarkov looks great. Like, if you have everything on a max. Yes. Good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Bunch of scavs up on top of there. As much as I'd like to kill the sniper, I'm a bit concerned about this dude. Don't start giving me away, please. Oh my god. You just got hit from someone else over there. Our man got shot by somebody over here. Pinewood is like... Pretty full on right now. That was our guy. Right. I need to get into this area and shoot the flare off. most accurate shots of all time. Oh, Kepka Yubba now, no. Where? Worth it? Not really. You know what, I don't really care, do I? I shouldn't care what he's got. It's fine, I don't care. Stop looting players to swipe unless there's a gun that's good. Yeah, I know. More for full auto tap. Ah, uh, bit of both. I'd rather not have to rebuild the gun. <laughs> so as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons and as always, have fun in your raids.